Hi guys, welcome to part 11 of my 2023 Christmas Village full tutorial series. Guess what? No surprise at all for you, simply because the water, the sea, the ocean isn't finished yet. <laughs> so what I did instead in the past days, I decided to start a 3D modeling the many, many, many figurines I need to fill all this new empty space I have due to the platform configuration I implemented last time. And believe me, I will need a lot of them and each of them takes a lot of time to 3D model because I want many details. By the end of this part, I will be able to show you maybe yes, maybe no, most probably, let's say most probably at least two or three of them. One is still printing, um, just primed, obviously, because I will not have time to paint all of them. Each figurine takes uh, at least three hours from start to end to paint them. <laughs> Another time a very long time. So in the next uh, first minutes you will see me completing this hellish part here. Why hellish? I just have left 25 to 30 centimeters of free space there and that space isn't enough to get all the seven buildings, one, two, three, four, five, six and seven buildings connected to the main sector and have them lighted on to small space, seven connectors. And don't forget, I still need also three more post lamps. So I will try to figure out a new, possibly smart way, not sure of that, to connect, oops, sorry for the boat, all the wires together in some way using I don't know right now. Then, then if you remember I told you in part 10 that I don't have access to the mainland from the docks. I tried also to solve that problem modeling a new type of platform. <laughs> One piece is still printing right, 3D printing right now. So you will see me assembling, trying to assembling all the pieces together, then prime uh, the platform, then paint the platform, then finish with something different, the platform itself, before testing the platform. Yoohoo! But, big announcement. I will also start, start and finish, I don't know when, the assembling of the first of my hot air balloons, first one, I told you many times, I need, I want, I strictly want a fleet of hot air balloons, all different from each other. And I will start from the more complex one right in this part 11, maybe not finished it. The new way I will show you to get the hot air balloons connected to the mainland is what it is important and it takes at least three to four days to be completed and I will try to explain to you why. I always hated having the Lemax hot air balloons turning around on a pole connected to a motor on the ground. It's not natural, but I've already done that uh, speech many times before. And also the Lemax uh, hot air balloons are not in scale with the buildings and the figurines. I've tried also to make hot air balloons in scale with everything else. It will be a complex task completed, I think, by just by the end of all this new 2023 season. But 
it will give, I think, I hope, a new way of thinking of their balloons in a, in a, in, into a Christmas village. Let's cross the fingers, let's get some work done. Let me continue with uh, the ramp. I know I wrongly call it during the intro some sort of uh, platform, but instead it is a ramp, guys. Something inclined that allow me to reach the mainland from the platforms that are there. It's like having the platform there, then some ramp getting on top of the mainland. It wasn't too steep, the difference between the platforms and the mainland, so not very easy to get the perfect form. I can approach the camera a little more if you want, okay? It's like uh, some uh, wood ramp, okay? I try in ZBrush to model some alpha uh, wood on top of what I've modeled in uh, Reno okay in rhino 3d and this is the result i don't know if you can see it correctly but i think so i hope at least there are some veins some wood veins some wood knots etc on top of it 
I could have left the um, ramp like that and simply apply this on the um, platform and having there. Oh, and the irregular border here I have on top there. This irregular border here uh, is intended to be like that. I have a regular border on the downside and on the top side I have an irregular border such as some heavy weight crashing onto the ramp so from time to time and then ruining the wood so the wood is a little ruined on top of that regular on the rest because there is a, um, um, the steepness of the ramp that will allow not ruining anything i could have left like that the ramp but instead I decided to model also oops, those little things there. I have four set of them from A to, uh, to D, A, B, C and D, A, B, C and D I think, in couples, okay, right and left, okay, uh, nope, you are not seeing anything, let's go that way. So A, B, I hope you can see, yes, A, B, C and D, okay? And they are some, uh, some poles, some stuff, some supports for something that I will add in the end when it will be painted. Uh, they are four centimeters long, each one is four centimeters long with a flat horizontal uh, surface on top almost uh, flat because I wanted these uh, I added uh, some irregularities and uh, a little inclination on the um, down section on the below uh, section on the uh, floor section okay they will be intended to be placed from A to D like that Okay, it is like that, from A to D, all along the platform, all along the ramp, sorry, why? Because I wanted to give the ability to have a section, a portion of the ramp dedicated to goods, to docks workers, uh, to go up and down, and then a little section let's say four centimeters uh, uh, wide let's take two a this is a and this is a like that one here obviously I will need to glue them in some sort like that having four centimeters in width all along there as a passage for this is not four centimeters obviously this is less this is a three and a half I will go a little more like that and so the smallest figurines even these can get through as a passage just for people to get access to the boats reserved people this is for dock uh, workers and goods it's some sort of modification of the ramp and a glorification of the ramp okay too simple for me that and then I will add also something more you can imagine because I have two holes in each pole there so let me go and assemble this uh, symmetrically if possible a b c d a b c d a b c d okay and uh, i will try to use okay you can use whatever you want to glue together those pieces this is pla this is pla polylactic acid it is a filament from 3d printers super glue will not work you can use PVC glue, PVC white glue, if you want. It will take at least 
five, seven, eight hours to cure to get perfectly there. And during the process, you may uh, you may have the parts sliding a little once mm, they are placed there because the PVC glue is not immediate gluing. You can use two components uh, resin glue as I use uh, regularly, uh, but it will have a, a not perfect result as <clears throat> the amount of uh, <clears throat> B component, component A and component B, so two components um, epoxy glue, resin or epoxy glue can uh, have a residual uh, on the uh, corners or on the side of the two parts glued together. So it's not always easy to try to find the correct amount of glue to, to get together two uh, pieces like that, two components, to assemble together two components. Uh, I will use some resin, the same resin I've already used <laughs> um, before. It is the resin used for uh, 3D printing the uh, figurines and uh, on SLA printers, obviously not on filament printers, and it is a photo uh, resin, a photosensible resin, so it cures with lights, not every type of lights, but UV light and here as always I have let's try not to make a mess I have an UV light like that okay guys Okay, I think it's done. Uh, I was checking if uh, the holes are almost in the same direction, in the same orientation. I think so, but this is not supposed to be uh, perfectly done as this is wood and wood is subjected to some um, modification during the time, some inclination here and there. I will not complete here right now uh, into with the holes what I will need to fill into the holes because uh, uh, firstly I need to print uh, to paint this little ramp there. How I proceed generally? If you simply use some acrylics on this pure plastic, PLA is plastic from vegetables from corn, more precisely, this is corn plastic. Uh, it will not stick onto the, uh, onto the uh, PLA, onto this plastic, not even on the resin it will stick, simply because uh, those plastic and those resin are not uh, meant to be uh, glue 
uh, friends okay these can be glued onto my uh, cutting mat there okay and it, it makes resistance if i place a piece on the plastic like that it will not glue and it will be removable okay this plastic these two it will not stick onto this plastic it will be easily removed because it's not getting some grip okay those kind of plastics prevent grip that's why i prime everything everything i've 3d printed filament printing or resin printing before applying my acrylics with some normal brush i prime everything with some gray this is uh, used the standard for figurines in uh, uh, it's a very very good primer it's not perfectly white it is gray but it cover everything and it is a primer that is not acrylic this is a polyurethanic primer it is made from plastic this is liquid plastic that will the polyurethane will grip will attach onto the surface and will leave also a surface that has some roughness that is uh, um, like having some microscopic uh, hooks that will uh, help the acrylic colors to stick onto the model you have printed acrylic primers are also uh, good if you want but i prefer polyurethanic um, uh, primer and this is uh, polyurethane gray uh, primer you can apply it using a brush no matter but the surface is not perfect and you risk to have some bubbles because uh, brushes uh, tends to get the product um, with bubbles if you use the primer like that so I generally use for priming and not for painting an airbrush this is my airbrush it is I don't know if you can hear but it produces a slightly uh, sound I'm approaching it to the mic right now but the worst is when when the compressor will start and this is powerful you can um, push up the pressure and you can see that it moves but if you wait enough uh, the compressor will i will push up the pressure you see you hear now the compressor started uh, re uh, repumping the air into the tank as it needs to get always the same pressure and this is a little noisy not that much noisy you can hear most probably this is constant and you feel you put inside those little containers some of the primer obviously but this is a very sticky primer very effective but also very sticky so i generally thin the primer with some airbrush thinner that will prevent the hose there to get clogged by residual of uh, primer it is common when you use airbrushes some cloth that's why you need to use some thinners uh, i will not show you the process why up there here you have the camera and when you use an airbrush like that it creates a dust 
I've already said that many times. It creates a dust and I risk to damage the lens with the dust that will stick onto the lens. I don't want to damage <laughs> the main uh, lens of the Sony camera. So I will go without showing, but it's e very easy. Uh, you have the trigger there and you simply need to do this, okay? You regulate the, fl the, um, the flux there, uh, plus or minus, and the flow will get larger or narrower. It's like having a cone. It produces a cone of, um, of painting, and it is narrower or, or uh, wider. It's simply a matter of fact of a pin that is close or not close to the hole. Uh, less close to the hole, it projects a larger cone. Um, uh, closer to the hole, with the, the diameter of the pin closer to the hole, it projects a narrower um, flux of spray. It, the spray flux is uh, shorter and I will go like this. Then also with the uh, brown, I think, the first layer, then the rest is brushed on top of it as always. And I use this technique with everything, with my figurines and with the object. It's very useful because uh, imagine all the platforms I added to prime and then to paint. The gray, the primer, and the first brown, the darkest brown, I always use this uh, airbrush here. Otherwise, it, it would have taken uh, three weeks just to paint. Okay, guys, final touch here. Let's try to add a rope here. Okay guys, I think the ramp is done. I will approach a little more the camera. With this red rope, uh, I finished this ramp. And this is, this is sorry, a real rope. So I used some super glue to fix the knot, the eight knots together. And this is the passage that will allow people to get access to the boats. Okay guys, let's start the hot air balloons fleet and I'm gonna start with these four six elements here and this will be an assembly process of something gigantic compared to Lemax uh, hot air balloons but it is in scale and believe me even not that much in scale it is in scale with buildings and you know that buildings are always uh, shorter in dimension they are not as tall as figurines there is uh, always a problem trying to fit the figurine inside a door from a Lemax building it will never fit because uh, figurines uh, are at a higher scale. Here the hot air balloon is uh, in scale with the buildings 
but not the figurines. But it's better that way. Instead of having a not air balloon, not in scale with Lamax buildings and also not in scale with figurines. I've decided to go with a two color hot air balloon and I will try to explain everything while I'm going. Let me just use not hot glue, not PVC glue, not super glue, but a little of resin there. Let me try this. Okay, I will stop for a moment. So, this is the starting point, guys. The basket and the frame that will support all the hot air balloon. So it will be this big, guys. This big at least, 30 centimeters. What I did, I tried to um, slice every single part of what I modeled in order to allow me to print each and single one of the parts easily without the supports. So here the blue ribbons were flat printed, so no support at all. The, um, the basket also one piece in vertical and even the net doesn't, the, not the net, the uh, uh, yes, the, the frame here. The frame is supportless. One layer on top of the other. But I wanted this to be as lightweighted as possible because of what I have in mind and I will show you next time. The technique to connect an hot air balloon to the layout without using a motor. Let's go. It will be a static hot air balloon, not a moving hot air balloon. So many, many pieces to get together and I've printed them in a vase mode and I will explain why once I get the first element printed in um, a vase mode. So while these get cured, next step, and this will be the lower section of the hot air balloon. Very strange. Okay, guys. Yes, I know it is very strange. But the only way to have these two colors was to proceed like that. This has been printed. In vase mode, it is very light, light. Okay, sorry, I got super glue and I'm doing a mess. I will need to correct some of the mess I did. But the only way 
to have this is lightweighted it was to print that piece this piece here in a vase mode it simply printed the outer perimeter then the inner perimeter enough it's empty inside it's empty so it is very fragile but it also is very lightweighted to add these into colors I also printed other five elements like this one that will go like that Okay guys, here I have another piece that is fantastic because it has a screw and voila, it will allow me to connect the basket, the, the frame and the base here to the rest. And if I'm correct, this should go like that. Good. Even this one, impossible to use the resin. I will need to use some epoxy glue once again. Okay, and now Okay And guys, this is the first of many hot air balloons. Final recap of part 11 of the 2023 series and I am starting from the new ramp there guys. This is the final result 
place it on top of some platforms and here the passage for the people and there the passage for goods and for uh, dogs worker it is uh, placed here on top of the edge there and then it is the exact same width of the uh, platforms there 16 centimeters and so the rope even the rope uh, it's a final touch red because people are uh, very important uh, this is the golden eagle as always this is the espanola maybe i don't know espanola and so on so the ramp there uh, primed then dark brown then um, light brown and white same thing for the rest okay and i don't know if you can see but i've carved some veins into the model etc and it is wood okay i've used the zbrush to model this instead of a rhino as always i use rhino for non-organic but in this case i've used also zbrush for this little ramp there and everything else you have already seen everything else guys and as i told you first of the new figurines and i also told you i wanted a pregnant woman sorry a pregnant woman and this is a pregnant woman uh, coming back from the market where she bought some vegetables, some meat, I modeled a very strange uh, modern and the past together. Long skirt, short skirt, trousers, pure Viking, pure rebel woman, pure Viking woman. Okay, guys, uh, some uh, short airs even if in that times uh, women's uh, women tended to have long ears but this one has short ears uh, rebel but for me it is the first time i'm seeing a pregnant woman in a christmas village but i wanted something different and also the pose guys uh, lamax or department 56 figuring pose are always static like strike a pose please don't move at all this is dynamic she is walking she is looking at someone and she, maybe she is talking to her baby okay with her hand on the baby first of the three figurines you will see tada lighted 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 second figurine guys and I told you I wanted uh, some sitting figurines because Lemax is short in sitting figurines in seated person, people in seated pe person. As always, as not, not always, as frequently happened, uh, fishermen in that uh, times uh, were facing a brutal attacks from i don't know from sharks from maybe whales also that are or some big giant um, sea life and so this little fisherman here lost his leg and this is reality guys and this is a viking long hair maybe i will paint it blonde i don't know yet uh vikings uh, wood as a leg and it is a uh, seated and it is talking to someone guys and this is all, also primed and seated figurines have the advantage that they don't need some uh, base to stand it is talking i have another i have some more seated figurines such as the sailor from uh, 
20 years ago, maybe 22, 23 years ago, the collection, Lamax collection from 22 to 23 years ago. Uh, some people seated on a park bench, a lady seated on a park bench, a couple seated on a park bench, but single figurines in plain movement are lacking. They are not the majority, okay? And this is for me a good figurine. Then, guys, here is the result of the final section, of the final C section. Uh, same technique here. I finished last part in here, then I continued there. Same technique with just uh, glycerin, so soap, nothing else. Even there, in the middle groove, I have some water okay guys and then here this is the effect with white waters and the waves getting towards the shore towards the beach there and i've used a new technique there this time instead of uh, cutting the piece of uh, uh, glycerin after having the glycerin I went little step by little step trying to fix everything so I didn't need so I, I hadn't to cut the glycerin once poured and then redo something but here I have a big hole as you have seen with five connection one for the rounded uh, octagonal building two for the blue building one two there so two to four and one five connected there invisible under the glycerin uh, under the water uh, and then the head you have already seen the head white waters there crashing i will uh, continue the crash with the waves crashing onto the uh, rocks and then also onto the uh, sand I've added a little green because maybe some algae is there, etc. And then same technique with my fingers to add the waves there and the movement, circular movement, but because always, as always, uh, waves tend to go somehow circular. Okay. And here, there, the rounded, the octagonal building, sorry, like that. Okay, the octagonal building is now completely submerged and it is part of the uh, layout, even the stairs. Oops, I forgot to remove the little mask tape that was supposed to get together the two pieces before pouring the glycerin. And finally, the water is finished. Maybe I will add just a little touch of white here and there on the uh, on the top of the waves, but I'm not sure right now. And guys, it's not even mid-September and the water is finished. This section is finished, another piece there to be removed. And guys, ta-da, a third figurine. Maybe I exaggerated, but old grannies and deaf old grannies with a cat on uh, her lap, uh, on a wheelchair, um, a wood wheelchair. I've modeled this very quickly, the chair at least. And then maybe I went wrong with the scale of the uh, lady but i don't think so this is a little lady and little old lady guys and it is seated so two of the three figurines are seated the figurines cat she is petting her cat there and then she is definitely deaf okay and she has a typical not happy Sorry, I was saying uh, deaf, a little old, old lady deaf, definitely not happy at all. 
uh, I know just with the prime um, prime uh, mm, coating isn't that good for figurines but I d really didn't add time to paint uh, those three figurines and this one came out from the printer no more than four hours ago those are the three figurines I modeled these a uh, week instead of doing the water here as I told you last time but here is completed that post lamp is not connected because I have connected all of them I still need to connect this one this one but the yellow one is connected but this will be finished surely next week but it's nothing to complete this little portion here and it is not even visible because it is on the back of the um of the layout uh, all the other um, wires are idled so i decided to go the other way for the blue one and this one is just to remember me that i need to fix this wire somehow uh, and I poured uh, some sand on top of the wires then I will add some vegetation to hide the remaining part there and the wires come together here and then I will connect them but they work so no need to uh, connect them here I, instead I went between the two platforms with the two little wires so the village at least the main uh, village without the micro scene is now oops somehow complete i will need to hurry and model some model more figurines than try to start figuring out what i want but here i know precisely what i want there and then guys let me do this there guys the first hot air balloons sorry hot air balloon <laughs> still not balloons and next time i will show you how i intend to get that hot air balloon in the air guys mm, at at least uh, some of them will be middle layer not on the ground obviously not on the ground but middle air somehow i will try to tr to find a position where it will not prevent the point of view of the other of the other buildings but these guys it is very light weighted as i told you 200 grams and i will try to get it like that i hope to do that because in theory my theory works i don't know in reality because i haven't experimented at all but this model here is um, symmetrical as the balloon don't get on the ground and it is vertical and three colors no four colors white blue yellow purple okay and the basket yes but basket doesn't count some little uh, design here i modeled some design and from the top side and from the bottom they are different okay guys uh, initially i had intention to paint inside with some gold or some black but instead they fit well like that and all the elements here have been painted with the airbrush because it is very thin okay and assembled and please look that the figurines doesn't fit inside but even the figurine doesn't get through the wind through the doors let me show you even there the cathedral will be in uh, in scale with the buildings and you can see that the figurine is taller 
than the than the door that will be there as always with Lamax figurines are taller in scale are in a bigger scale than the buildings and this the hot air balloon is in scale with the buildings let me place it near the buildings like that and i will show you the effect if it was there so it is in scale with the buildings and here too the lady is taller than the door as always with lemax uh, but here the post lamps are in scale with the figurines guys it's finished no the sea is finished i will get to some other task i will try to do another model maybe i will advance with the cathedral i don't know right now but this is how it went with part 11 of the 2023 series maybe too many pieces for a not air balloon it is the complex one it is the light weighted one and it is an experiment i wanted to figure out a way to model little parts little things and get a good looking hot air balloon and at least it is good looking for me it's my opinion obviously uh, next uh, hot air balloons will be less complicated to assemble and then to 3d print and then to paint and everything else but i don't know the result they are all different there the sea the ocean is completed guys yahoo uh, not that little section there guys i know that it is not completed but i will complete it by next time and it is nothing i will not have to pour kilograms and kilograms of glycerin onto the layout anymore by the way uh, five kilograms of glycerin to complete this layout here not that much the expense eight euros compared to 500 euros that will have needed in um, silicon coke new technique it works cheaper technique yahoo and the figurines guys the three figurines represent my vision of a modern or past christmas village with figurines that are not plastic but they are in movement not a standing not a posing they are doing common things such as um, talking such as walking such as doing many things they will have all different aspects the next ones <laughs> forgive me if they are just three but i haven't that much time right now let's go to the other camera guys you have seen this other camera many times but not in this with this point of view this closer to the layout and this is the final steps the final waves even from that distance you are also seeing a little part of the hot air balloon but finally you will have a complete look no more white a styrofoam flashing into your eyes here the sea is completed guys and absolutely one of the longest tasks i ever did no not true the three ring circus from last season was the longest one but this is the second longest one so you can admire or hate my sea guys and I will go back to the other camera for my final conclusions. I'm back there, guys. So the village is taking life. And I think uh, I will use this technique in the future. Yes, for the water. I'm talking yes. 
the new technique for the hot air balloons. I don't know if it works, but I will discover by part 12, surely. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give big thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English. Not that, that awful this time, I hope. And see you next time for part 12, if you wish, obviously.